welcome you to Sandy Sansing Nissan. I want to feature one of our, our actually the number one selling SUV in the country right now, and that is the Nissan Rogue. Uh, what really makes the Rogue a lot different than other vehicles is the safety features you get. With Nissan, they have what they call a safety shield, which actually protects you front, back, rear, uh, you know, uh, your blind spot monitoring on both sides. It really uh, just provides a secondary safety feature um, that keeps, you know, keeps you from having accidents you might otherwise have if you're distracted or, or someone comes into you. So on this one, you have the forward collision warning. That's going to warn you when there's an impeding wreck. Uh, it's got the forward collision. It's going to keep you, in most cases, from having that wreck. Um, so it, it will actually stop the car for you in most driving conditions. It's also got blind spot monitoring. The blind spot monitoring is going to be uh, shown on the A-pillars on the inside. When cars get within 10 feet of the back or of the side of you, those will light up and let you know cars are coming by you left and right. Um, also, if you hit the blinker like you're intending to go in that lane while there, that's lit up, it's also going to give you an audible warning, secondary um, thing that's telling you, hey, dummy, don't get in the other lane. Uh, there's someone there. Also, if you look uh, at the rear, as soon as you put it into reverse, it activates your rear sonar. So let's say there's cars on both sides of you, busy mall parking lot, and you can't see anything until you back all the way out. By then, you're already hitting the mall. As soon as you put this in reverse, it sends a signal out 66 feet in both directions. Okay? What that's going to do is as soon as you put it in reverse, even if you're not looking behind you, if it's not beeping or if it's not showing you that blind spot monitoring is on on that side, nothing's coming at you. I do it with my customers and kind of freak them out all the time where I look straight at them, put it in reverse, and just start backing up without looking. I don't do that because that's my normal practice. I do it just to show them that the car is looking even when they're not. So people that have a hard time turning, they got neck issues, back problems, uh, maybe, uh, you know, height challenged or what have you and have blind spots, this one will take care of that for you because it's looking when you're not. So that's, that's a great deal. Also, most manufacturers that have that kind of technology, they might have the technology that shows when cars are coming at you, but they do not have it where small children, uh, people on a bicycle might activate it. This one does. Uh, as soon as you put it in reverse and that activates, it's going to show you the blind spots on, on either side coming on, but it'll also beep on that side. So if you hear something in your right ear, you have traffic coming at you in the right ear. If, or on your right side. Uh, so this will help in many, many situations where otherwise you might get hit. Uh, so the safety features far and, and, and above is what sets this one apart. I'm going to go ahead and get my cameraman to get in the back seat so you can see the inside. I've already got this one on. As you can see, you have many uh, different options here. You've got different ways that you can look at your navigation, two-dimensional, three-dimensional, where you can set it up differently. I like the bird's eye because it just looks like you're flying, so it's what's actually coming at you on the horizon. Uh, as far as your uh, phone, easy connections, you just hit connect, uh, your Bluetooth, add new phone. You also can sign up for Wi-Fi or you can use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto through your USB port that you have here at the bottom. So you can stream music, uh, you can use any of your apps that you might have on your phone already, iHeartRadio, Pandora, any of that. So you'll be able to use that as well. As far as your cameras, like I said, as soon as you put it in reverse, it's automated. Your sonar is on, you'll see it in your information screen. Well, that might not be as clear, but your sonar is on. And it's also going to show you your sonar right here in the back. So if anybody walks or comes in these patterns right here, well, that's basically 10 feet all the way around your car, it will light up in green, yellow, or red. Now, I've got cars right beside me, so I'll show you kind of how that might work in reverse. When you get into this pattern and get close, well, let me get a little closer. Alright, it's going to warn you, green, yellow, 
then red. So if you're one of those that uh, likes backing into things, this one's going to help you out tremendously. Now as far as the front, I can turn this camera on and now you're looking at the front and it's all give you the display of where you're going. So it's going to show you where you're going and in the back it'll just switch right to the back and do the same thing in the back. So you got four way sonar, well two way sonar all the time. This one in particular, you've got a lot of different upgrades here. This one's actually got intelligent cruise control which is different than standard cruise control. If you set it you've got your uh, pro pilot here and you've got your distance right here typically when you set your cruise control you're on cruise control till you hit what's in front of you you hit your brake or you cancel it out with this one you can I look at the bars as five car lengths per bar so five car lengths 15 car lengths 10 car lengths that's going to keep you at that distance that you choose all the time. If somebody pulls in front of you, it'll back you off. If, uh, if it stays the same, then it's going to keep you going that distance as long as, as you want to go. Uh, the Pro Pilot, now once you get started with this, that comes on. It's going to keep you uh, in your center lane, and it'll also automatically drive for you. So it's going to keep this wheel in the middle. And then every few seconds, every about 20 seconds, it's going to tell you to put your fingers back on the uh, steering wheel. The best thing that does is it keeps uh, fatigue down in uh, long-distance driving. So, so much technology in here. I could spend a 15-minute video, but it probably wouldn't upload. But uh, this one's also got the auto parking brake, the auto hold. Uh, unlike your old-style uh, pull or push uh, emergency brakes, this one will hold and drag back wheels if... <laughs> it's going to keep it that that uh, solid. So if you're on a hill, that's definitely going to make a difference. Uh, but like I said, mainly the the biggest uh, deal with the with the road is the safety. Now the secondary deal, if you've got uh, let's say you've got someone that has wheelchairs, they need to get in the back, or they've got a, a lot of storage needs, um, but it changes. The rear um, storage area in this one also is the second way of, uh, of really separating itself from our competition. So I'm going to uh, let my camera man out and uh, I'll show them the back. Alright. So, now this one is set up with the power lift gate. So, You've got the sensor here, so the keys usually got to be underneath our emblem and, and lower. So you've got it in your pocket or you've got it in your purse. However, just come up on it. Yeah. Car's on. <laughs> All right. So. far as the 18 ways that you can put the, um, the floor, typically if you want privacy or you need to stack like food or, or trays or anything, this is a great way to do it. You can put food on the bottom, here, here. You can also use this for privacy, just pull this up. Uh, it's also got a low loading deck, so it's easy to, to get things in and out. Now, you can also drop the floor down. get more room that way so your openings high it's nice and wide with the seat down you have plenty of room now with the floor down it's not level if you put it back to its normal position it's all level so like I said having the different ways that you can stack that floor is another one of the things that sets it apart so if you're interested in an uh, SUV at a great price point, uh, you can get all the bells and whistles uh, on, on a Nissan Rogue, great gas mileage, and uh, also I want to tell you, all the counties that have been affected by the hurricane, we're actually doing more of an employee pricing special for them right now. So if you're from Panama City, Bonifay, Chipley, Mariana, 
uh, you know, Mexico Beach, all the places that were affected, please come see me. My name's Shane Miller. Uh, I'll be glad to help you out. Make sure you get the best deal possible. Uh, if you need anything as far as cars being delivered to you or anything to help you in, in a need right now, just call me up and uh, I'll see if I can help you um, in that matter. Uh, Sandy Sansing's a great partner uh, as far as the community, and we pretty much will do what it takes to earn your business and also to help you out. We're, we're all about the community, and we consider the Bay County and all those counties over there as our community as well. So uh, that's all i got for the Nissan right now. It's definitely not all that's in there, but... Uh, as far as just the, the short walk around, letting you know some of the differences between us and our competitors, uh, I think the Nissan Rogue is a fantastic choice um, and, and uh, is a great bang for the buck. So if you want the value, uh, pricing, uh, reliability, I, I don't think you can go wrong with the Nissan Rogue. So uh, thank you and uh, you have a great day.